This video demonstrates the proper procedures for sampling freshly mixed concrete in preparation for conducting quality control tests and molding test specimens. This standard includes procedures for sampling concrete from stationary mixers, revolving drum truck mixers, open top units, agitating and non-agitating equipment, and when concrete is deposited on grade. Regardless of the production or delivery method, the primary objective when sampling is to obtain representative material from widely separated portions of a batch. Prior to taking any samples, be sure that on-site personnel are aware of your sampling plan, including both how and when samples are to be obtained. When test specimens are to be molded, samples shall be a minimum of one cubic foot. Smaller samples are permitted when routine air content, temperature, and slump tests are performed. The equipment needed for sampling concrete includes one or more containers to obtain the sample, a shovel to mix the sample portions, and suitable materials to protect the sample. Also, equipment to perform the specified quality control test and mold appropriate test specimens will be needed. When sampling concrete from a revolving drum truck mixer, keep the following points in mind. Do not obtain any material until all water and any admixtures have been added to the mixer. Do not obtain any material from the very first or last portions of a batch and control the rate of discharge by regulating the rotation of the drum, not the size of the gate opening. Concrete can be sampled either by repeatedly passing a receptacle through the entire discharge stream or by completely diverting the discharge into a container. Obtain two or more portions of material at regularly spaced intervals from the middle of the load. The elapsed time between obtaining the first and final portions of material shall not exceed 15 minutes. When sampling concrete deposited on grade, keep the following points in mind. Sample the concrete after the contents of the mixer have been discharged, and avoid contamination or prolonged contact with the subgrade material. Obtain material from at least five different portions of the pile. The elapsed time between obtaining the first and final portions of material shall not exceed 15 minutes. Quickly transport the sampled material to the location where quality control tests are to be performed and test specimens molded. If necessary, wet sieve the material to remove any aggregate particles which are larger than appropriate for the equipment or molds being used. Using a shovel, combine the portions of material into a composite sample. Remix the minimum amount necessary to ensure uniformity and so as not to exceed any time limitations. While conducting tests on the fresh concrete, protect the sample from sun, wind, rapid evaporation, and contamination. All testing should be conducted without delay. Start the test for temperature, slump, and air content within five minutes after obtaining the final portion of the composite sample. Start molding strength test specimens within 15 minutes after fabricating the composite sample. Don't forget to clean your equipment.